Hey, Bashar here. So you might be asking yourself, how do I get started on Bashar's Conan server? The first thing you're going to want to do is talk to Deadsea. He'll give you some starter equipment and a crash course on the server basics. Then he'll point you to the river base at Cottonwood Cove. Talk to the people there, starting with the Centurion, and by following the tutorial quest, you'll end up with a steel weapon in hand. If you want, you can stick around to harvest materials for the vendors. They'll give you silver, which you can use to buy yourself a set of heavy armor. Don't worry about setting up a base just yet. If you need shelter, you can crash at the barracks, which is open only to characters under level 30. Once you're ready to move past the river, you should make your way to the Shattered Basin. That's the crevice that connects the savanna with the highland biomes. Here's where I've set up the server hub with all the amenities. Now, while you're traveling, keep your eye out for bearers. Those are the folks with the big backpacks. If you kill them, they will drop a box called Supply Materials. Don't open the box. Hold on to those if you can on your way to Shattered Basin. Once you reach the base, you're going to want to talk to Legate Linnaeus. He's on the second floor of the main building, and he'll give you some good experience points for continuing the tutorial. Now, if you have any of those supply material boxes in your inventory, the man you're going to want to talk to is the Decanus, guy with a big black turban dressed the same as Dead Sea. He will give you good gold for those boxes. Believe me, that gold is going to be worth more to you than whatever was inside. Now, another way to earn some gold is through Medea. She runs the Chow Hut and is always looking to buy stacks of raw meat, so I hope you have your cleaver ready. Talk to her and find out what she's willing to pay a premium for. Deliver her the right cut and you'll see a nice payday. If you're feeling adventurous, head outside the main building to a tent below the arena walls. There you'll find Gus Masterson, big game hunter. He offers bounties for the severed heads of particular creatures. If you bring him what he's looking for, you get the bounty. Each day a bounty goes unfulfilled, the reward increases. Once someone cashes in, the reward is reset and a new target is selected. So it can be a bit of a race, but remember to weigh the risks. Some bounties might be too challenging for your current power level. Let's say you've earned yourself a tidy sum of gold and now you're ready to spend. Go check in with the armor and he'll be happy to outfit you with epic quality gear. Weapons, armor, some good arrows, and repair kits to keep you in the field. You can also swing by Doc Balder and pick up some healing potions and bandages as well as uh, grenades. Now that you're kitted out, it's time to think about venturing into the dangerous north. Dale Barton here deals in rare commodities. I'm talking about black ice, ash, obsidian, and star metal. If you're willing to make the trip to get those materials, he'll make it worth your while. Just remember to pick up some spiced haunch from Medea before you leave. We don't want you to freeze to death. One more person that you're going to want to know about at Shattered Basin is the Priestess. If you have too much gold jangling in your pocket and too few experience points to reach level 60, she's more than happy to make that exchange for you. Leveling up is not quick on Bashar's Conan server, and that's intentional. The scheme rewards people who engage the systems. Don't come in here thinking that you're playing regular Conan Exiles, because you're not. But with the information I've given you, I think you'll settle in just fine.